This is Lady Josephine Montelier, our ambassador and chief diplomat. You're even taller than I'd heard. The Inquisition cannot remain, Ambassador. If you can't prove, it was founded on Justinia's orders. This is an inopportune time, Marquis. More of the faithful flock here each day. But allow me to introduce you to the brave soul who risked his life to slow the magic of the breach. Master Adar, this is the Marquis Durellion, one of Divine Justinia's greatest supporters. And the rightful owner of Haven. House Durellion lent Justinia these lands for pilgrimage. This Inquisition is not a beneficiary of this arrangement. Interesting. Considering the Inquisition was begun by the left and right hands of the Divine. I've seen no written records from Sister Liliana or Seeker Pentacus that Justinia approved the Inquisition. If he won't take her at her word, I'm afraid Seeker Pentagast must challenge him to a duel. What? It is a matter of honor among the Navarans. Shall I arrange the bout for tonight? No. No. Perhaps my reaction to the Inquisition's presence was somewhat hasty. <sighs> we face a dark time, Your Grace. Divine Justinia would not want her passing to divide us. She would, in fact, trust us to forge new alliances to the benefit of all, no matter how strange they might seem. I'll think on it, Lady Montilieu. The Inquisition might stay in the meanwhile. Do the Durellians actually have a claim on this place? His Grace's position is not so strong as he presents it. Despite their Ferelden relations, the Durellions are Orlesian. If the Marquis wishes to claim Haven, Empress Selene must negotiate with the Ferelden on his behalf. Her current concerns are a bit larger than minor property disputes. His Grace was all bluster then. Even should he leave, the Marquis will share his thoughts on us upon his return to Battle Royale. Every guest we receive, and we will receive them, will spread the Inquisition's story. An ambassador should ensure the tale is as complimentary as possible. May I ask what brought you to work for the Inquisition? Sister Leliana approached me. We've been acquainted for quite some time. For better or worse, being the Inquisition's diplomat has become as interesting as she promised. What sort of dealings have you had with nobility? For some years, I was the royally appointed court ambassador from Antiva to Orle. The nobility of Thedas is a rather singular sphere. Those I'm not acquainted with, I know through reputation. The Inquisition is lucky to have you as an advocate, Lady Montilier. Thank you. Let us hope so. Thedas's politics have become agitated as of late. I hope to guide us down smoother paths. But please excuse me. I've much work to do before the day is done. Greetings. How do you and Liliana know each other? We moved through similar circles in Norlay. I believe we actually met in Val Royale. Leliana was quite an accomplished player of the game by then. What exactly do you mean when you say, the game? Ah, forgive me. The game refers to the slow duels of influence among the noble and powerful of Orlay. It's a rather light-hearted name for the matter, but our legions are fond of playful touches. What business are the Montelliers in, exactly? We began as merchants. My ancestors founded the first trade route to Rivain. We once sent entire fleets across the Waking Sea. But not anymore? Ah, no. Uh, these days, our vessels are a touch more modest. What did you do before coming here? 
I had the great honor of serving Antiva's crown as ambassador to Orlais. I'm also first in line to become the head of House Montillier, though my siblings attend to our mercantile affairs. How strong are your past loyalties? I would never have given up my position if I did not intend to fully commit to the Inquisition. We cannot fall back on borders. Antiva is as threatened as any country by the rebellions. If anything, the alliances I forged there may help our current cause. Do you think the Inquisition will continue after we seal the breach? If we prove ourselves by healing the breach, people may turn to us for other things. Protection, counsel, justice... The Inquisition offered these once to those in need. Tell me, do you believe I was saved by Andraste at the Temple of Sacred Ashes? I should much like to believe so, Your Worship. The miracles Andraste performed were so long ago, they're difficult to picture. If it were truly her and the Fate who saved you, well, in any case, many already believe you walk in the Maker's Light. Let's speak later. Another time. What may I do for you? Tell me how you came to work for the Inquisition again. I'd been considering leaving my post in Antiva for a new challenge when Leliana recruited me. There's such unrest in Thedas, and the Inquisition seems a promising method to stop it. It's to everyone's benefit if we prevent the Mage Templar conflict from spreading further. So, was it the prospect of stability that drew you here? The full impact of the Mage Rebellion has yet to be felt, and that was before the death of the Divine. The violence must be curbed before we see it turn to full-scale war. I can only imagine the bloodshed if it escalates further. I'm afraid history holds many examples of what will happen if it does. What exactly does your job entail? I meet with ambassadors from various factions and countries, and cement alliances with them. We are a young cause. Diplomacy is essential to our credibility. Then you speak for the Inquisition with these nobles. I do. Someone must foster goodwill on our behalf, as well as prevent controversy as news of us spreads. How heavily are our actions scrutinized? Make no mistake, every noble house, every throne, is waiting to see what the Inquisition does next. Many are willing to pledge support, if offers are made in just the right fashion. I intend to see that they are. What do the people make of us? Despite our fame, we're low on steadfast allies. We must aim for more. Any visiting dignitaries I should watch out for? Sir Griffith of Denerim, a most distinguished knight of the realm. He's defeated darkspawn, slain demons, chased down abominations. Just don't ask him about it over dinner. He spares no detail. Good day to you. What do the people make of us? Despite our fame, we're low on said. Any thoughts on the people here? Who did you mean? Commander Cullen came to mind. The Commander is an intelligent, cautious man. I'm grateful he's in charge of our sending army. Still, he does sometimes resemble the man with a hammer, to whom everything appears as a nail. I was thinking of Cassandra. Seeker Pentagast is a princess of the Kingdom of Nevara, although that barely seems important to her. She was not interested when I asked if we might make use of her royal relations. Still, the Inquisition would not have formed without Cassandra. She's an extraordinarily driven woman. What's your impression of Solus? I suppose I should be wary of an apostate, but our elven mage has conducted himself with the utmost propriety. And he has the most fascinating stories. I was thinking of Varric. Oh, I could listen to his tales for hours. 
He actually let me read a chapter of his next book he's writing. My friends would be sick with envy if they knew. It's excellent, but a bit different from his past works. Only three beheadings so far. Let's speak later. Goodbye.